Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Uh, today I just wanted to share with you guys another little video about what it's like to live in Japan. Um, I've lived here for almost 20 years and I have two girls and um, so I think I kind of know what it's like to live here as a foreigner. I also happen to live in a place where there aren't very many foreigners so that can be exciting. Uh, but um, I thought I'd share with you guys today just briefly what it's like to have Christmas in Japan. Um, I know in some of the other videos, I was kind of sharing with you guys some things about, um, you know, stuff that you can get, like a Daiso, for example, to help you celebrate. And, um, you know, kind of mentioned some of the traditions that we have here during those times. But I thought I'd kind of talk a little bit in a video, too, to kind of let you guys know what it's like. Um, I know there's lots and more and more people coming that are either coming here to work or um, are coming here for longer vacations and things like that. So, or if you happen to be a military family, it can always be really, you know, nerve wracking when you go to a new place, uh, you know, what's it gonna be like? And especially when it comes to personal family traditions that you might have and how are you going to kind of survive those in the new place that you are. So um, when I first moved to Japan uh, in the late 90s, <laughs> there was very little, the, the few things that were available for, available for Christmas was very small. Um, and uh, 100 yen stores were just starting to crop up where I was. Um, so getting hold of cheap, easy decorations was pretty hard. So you really had to invest a lot of money into getting a Christmas tree. Now they did sell Christmas trees, especially at Japanese Toys R Us and some department stores, but they were usually at least $70 and they were very small. Um, I'd say maybe three feet at most. And um, if you're used to going into a Hobby Lobby in America and getting one of those huge trees for like $19.99, it's sort of like, what? That's really expensive. <laughs> so that can be a little shocking. But now uh, it's certainly gotten a lot better. I still, you don't still see very many places selling really large trees. Uh, you know, you're probably better to maybe try the internet or a Costco if you happen to near, live near one. The thing is, people just don't have room. Um, most people's houses are a lot smaller than the kind of space that people, for example, in America are used to. And so having such a limited space means that if you are going to put out a tree, it's usually a lot smaller than what we might be familiar with. But the decorations are very similar. There's tinsel, there's a star on top, there's all the same things that you might expect to have for uh, Christmas. And you can get a lot of that really cheap at the 100 yen store, or you can find nicer ones online and things like that too. So it's, you know, not impossible to still come up with some fun stuff, uh, but can be a little different if you're used to having a really big tree. Uh, finding something like a tree skirt, <laughs> really hard to do here. <laughs> that was one thing even now, I can't find tree skirts anywhere. So I had to buy mine, you know, make sure to remember to get it when I was you know, visiting home and, uh, <laughs> and have it that way or make one yourself. You find you can make a lot of things too. So uh, they do have stockings, but they don't have the variety of course that we have. These are like dollar stored stockings. So your standards that they have. Uh, so, you know, if you want to have, you know, personalized ones and things like that, you're gonna probably need to make some for your family. I've done that for mine. Uh, so that, that's something you kind of have to look out for too. Uh, and the celebration itself is more directed towards young couples in love than it is families. Uh, the family holiday is New Year's, so Christmas is more just a romantic holiday um, and, and a fun holiday for kids with Santa. And, um, you know, lots of kids through elementary school are very excited for Santa to come and visit. And he usually will leave uh, some uh, plastic boot full of candy or goods like that. And then maybe a pre one present uh, is the norm in Japan. <laughs> but, uh, and usually kids don't get a lot of other presents. It's mostly just from Santa, sometimes from grandparents. But uh, um, because New Year's is just around the corner and a lot of kids get... Uh, otoshidama, which is money for New Year's, it can be a real conflict of, you know, having too many things at the same time. So that part is a little different. Um, I know a lot of people always ask, you know, wow, so everybody celebrates Christmas in Japan. Is everybody Christian? And no, they are not. Um, <laughs> there, There is a, a, a community of Christians who live in Japan, but for the most part, everyone just celebrates, uh, San, you know, Christmas because they love Santa Claus. So um, it's not a religious holiday in any way for, for anyone. So I think a lot of people might be misguided a little when they come, especially if you are, you know, a Christian to come and to see, uh, so many people celebrating, but they don't know anything about the birth of Jesus or any of those things. That's not a part of the celebration at all. So that can be a little surprising. 
um, and, and is important to kind of keep in mind uh, because people are celebrating it for a com completely kind of different reasons. So, but it's, uh, you know, still, you still can get all the things you need to be able to have a really good holiday celebration. Um, I've mentioned before that the uh, standard meal is to have fried chicken. Uh, that is usually eaten on Christmas Eve along with the Christmas cake. That's usually a short cake with white cream frosting and strawberries, which are pretty pricey at this time of year. So you have to be ready for that. <laughs> I think, oh, I'll make mine from scratch because that'll be cheaper. And it winds up actually costing more because the strawberries are so expensive. They're, you know, $800, 800 yen, $800, 800 yen or $8 for, you know, maybe eight of them, fairly large size ones, but still ooh, way too much. So yeah, that's the kind of big thing that we usually eat for Christmas. And uh, yeah, it's kind of the way we celebrate. And uh, it's, not, it's not a day off. And a lot of times school doesn't get out until Christmas Eve, sometimes depending on how the calendar lines up. Sometimes it's like really cutting it close. There is the Emperor's birthday, which is the 23rd. So everybody has that day off. But then a lot of times you have to go back to school for Christmas Eve. Uh, if that happens to be still a Friday. So that can be really, you know, if you're not used to that and you're used to being like in the States where we have so much time to get ready for Christmas and Christmas Eve is important in your family, it can be really uh, hard at first to get used to because it's like, oh my gosh, everybody is taking my children away from me when I want them home. <laughs> so it can be, that can be a challenge, but uh, definitely a fun holiday. And if you learn to appreciate the differences in the way that we celebrate it here in Japan, and uh, obviously where we've copied and borrowed so much from other countries, it can be a lot of fun. So um, if you get a chance to be in Japan in the winter, even though it's so cold here, because <laughs> no one has central heating, <laughs> it's so cold, but um, it's a great time to be here, to get to see Christmas and New Year's. So I know everyone talks about how great it is to be here in the spring, and it is, it's beautiful, and the fall to see those the leaf colors. But um, if you want the biggest punch of tradition and all those great things, I think being here, the last couple of weeks of the year is really the best. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just share with you guys a little bit about that and I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.